make the uh, arm wrestling match? Or to a wrestling match? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way you balanced Yone. <laughs> and then he just punched at the guy. <laughs> but you can challenge the top players just by playing an Iron 4. That's where all the smurfing challenges are. But they're all in smurf queue, so it'll be hard to get into it. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do it, but it's fun. <laughs> Little doll. This is going to be the worst leash I've gotten in a while, isn't it? Then again, I get, I get crappy leashes like this all the time, don't I? I don't know why. Nobody likes to leash in Diamond. Also, I'm expecting my PC to crash today, guys. The fan is still making a weird whir noise, and it, it also won't adjust speed. So... I think it's fucked. Damn, go bot lane! <laughs> the new PC will be here within the next uh, 20 days, though. Or like 25 days-ish. So we just gotta make this laptop survive another month. There we go. That's lame. I'm stunned. The minion. Oh, our bot lane's not even here. Which probably means I have to give this. Which means I should probably stop hitting it. So that way I can go do something else. Nope, Kaz just repeat ganking the vein. That actually means I invade. Damn. This is looking nice. Done. And now we just leave. And we take a level 5. Perfect! Though, this is gonna be an awkward one. You want to jungle too late, so my bot lane couldn't leash. Then support decided to be nice and leash while ADC was in the lane, then ADC died one we do. That sucks, Jenny. That's the importance of not being late. Hmm, 42 CS. Perfect number. Oh, that's a perfect four. That's a perfect death. Damn, this would be perfect. If Kha'Zix had no kills, I would be so far ahead. Like, really far ahead of him. Luckily, I'm still going to be ahead of him in a way. The way of EXP. Well, now Vayne has a free lane. She better win this now. Because he can't ult her. Sion literally has no way of catching Vayne. I, am, I suppose that's cool. I didn't expect you to knock him up mid <laughs> Cycle bin is the Blitzcrank's name. Hello there, Lucky. It's good to see you, dude. 
Elves that go in. You learn to be late from me. Yeah, well, if that's what you're choosing to learn, um, I do hope you reach your goal of Iron Four by the end of season. Hell yeah. Now that's a good one. Very nice! That was close, but it worked. It worked. Perfect. Perfect. Good enough. Big apple? Very nice. Did that just say 69 gold? Alright, Scion's inting mid lane. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna regret using my smite on this. I'm gonna regret it. I can feel it. Oh, no. I guess I'm fine. Ka definitely won't try to uh, steal this from me. What? Why, why did it alt tab? I don't care. <laughs> that explains why Kaz is just sitting top, though, because he hates Vayne. He's letting his personal hate dictate how he plays. I really need to drop this shit. Ooh, it's not gonna make it. In terms of, I should have just dropped it mid. I was thinking about making a play where we push and dive. But that didn't happen now, did it? Crash already!
could not take it. <laughs> we just obliterated his existence. That was perfect. We'll easily be able to match the Scion all game, too, so this is nice. What is my biggest winning streak? 28 games. It was on Master Yi. In Season 9. Yeah, that's balanced. What? Okay. Well, Arcane's uh, baby just died. Season nine, who cares? Because <clears throat> I was silver four, I was like silver two, and then I played Master Yi and did a specific strategy and build that was insanely powerful. It was Bruiser Yi. You would just get Rage Blade, Blood Razor. With those two items, you could you already were able to get multi kills because Blood Razor was ridiculous. It did 4% of yeah, the enemy's max health per auto. Oh, imagine if I could get that on Gwen. Could you imagine that? But yeah, 4% of max health per auto was just the standard jungle item for 2600 gold. Plus it gave red smite. So you were already really powerful with that item. You add Rage Blade, and how old Rage Blade works was you only needed three autos for it to start to be ramped up fully if you were melee. So <clears throat> you would go all in, and you would just have Rage Blade proccing your E and the um, Blood Razor, which does max percent health, four percent per auto. So it was pretty powerful. Combine that with Wit's End, which at the time healed you when you were below half HP. Yeah, it had it had the same stats it has now, except for the minus the AD, and it would heal you for all the damage it dealt. And then I think the healing would double if you were like almost dead, so you couldn't die when you got with sentence. And then like I would just go tight. I would get Sterix Gauge, then go Titanic Hydra. <laughs> Which makes you really hard to kill, because this is when the Titanic was really broken. Yeah, that's not broken! Fuck oh, Cossix. <clears throat> so you would get Titanic and Sterix, top it off with a Randuin's Omen and a Spirit Visage, and nobody would kill you. You just go all in. You would one-shot everybody, because you would have like 350 AD with this build. And you would have 150 armor and about 120 magic resist. Nobody could kill you, and then like, if, let's say you alpha strike and then, you know, they flash away, just press meditate. And then your team goes all in and cleans it up. Once you're done meditating, you go right back to killing everybody. Try to play hero, eh, Zareth? See where that gets ya. <laughs> Projected! <clears throat> so that was my biggest win streak. It actually didn't have counters. The build. The only problem with it 
was it was super expensive. Other than the first two, like, I think Rageblade was, was 3k during that time. So, like, every item cost 3,000 or more. Titanic Hydra was 3,300. Static's Gauge was 3,200. Actually, it might have been 3,400. Randoin's 29. And then the Spirit Pistons was 29. It was all so expensive. Until you got to the tank part of the build. And you have no sustain. So, like, people were doing a lot of damage during that time. So you had to, like, really pick your fights. But I, I didn't say dragons, I just said fights. Don't get the two mixed. Yeah, I didn't give a shit about dragons back then, and I don't give a shit about them now. But <clears throat> you did have to pick fights really well. And then you had to KS a lot, kill their bot lane a lot. And then you eventually just scaled into a tank that can't be killed. I'm not gonna go near that. <laughs> I got Death Cap and Shadow Flame. Oh, that's nice. There we go. <laughs> Sion really hates the main top. Uh, GG? Yeah, it's over. They let me smooch their towers for free. Uh, yeah, they're not even trying to stop me. We won! First game! Now I gotta win one more, and then another.